hey, I'm here to return this. I stole it. But apparently it's all plastic. And I broke my teeth. You look familiar. Were you and my girl too? The fuck do you want? It really helps take the feng shui of my apartment. Just take it, just take it. But first, a message from our sponsor. Ugh. Man, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's looking at these tiny words printed on these bound stacks of paper. I guess what most people call reading books. But thankfully, you don't have to anymore. There's Audible! Audible has the world's largest selection of audiobooks, and with Audible Originals, they have even more content that's specifically made for their members. And today, you can start listening with a 30-day Audible trial. Your first audiobook plus two Audible Originals are free! Visit audible.com slash cinemassacre. Ooh, mama, I'm gonna listen to all the books I tell you what, and you can too, right now. Drop what you're doing, it's not important. Go to audible.com slash cinemassacre. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash C-I-N-E-M-A-S-S-A-C-R-E. We just saw Godzilla King of the Monsters, the sequel to Godzilla 2014. Now, um, for the most part, I had a pretty good time with it, but I have some complaints too. Uh, I think we all will. Um, now, when Godzilla 2014 came out, naturally we were comparing it to Godzilla 98 and talking about like what part of it is better or worse. And now I feel like we have to do the same thing. So unfortunately with this being a sequel, Let's talk about Godzilla 2014 really quickly, just to talk about what could have been improved in that one, and what did they improve in this new sequel, and what did they not. Godzilla 2014 did not have the theme music mm -hmm. anywhere. This one did. Yeah. They brought back the years. I like the theme in Godzilla 2014, but if I had to choose, mm -hmm. I'd rather this one. Uh, the, the music original. was great in that. Yeah. yeah. And, and all the original music in this one by Bear yeah. is awesome too. But I'm even more thrilled that they allowed him to do the original theme music because that, that was uh, missing. So yeah. the, the, the original themes being uh, the Mothra theme and... Mm -hmm. uh, at least two of the Godzilla themes yeah, the, that you hear in the mm, films. The, da, 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 yeah. yeah, all that, that stuff one is was very. In there. Uh, so that's, that's still a good theme. It's not like that's that's music that's real dated to that period. No, it still um, works. No, it's, it's, still, it's the theme yeah. for Christ's sake. Yeah. So, it's so a really. I am so thrilled. It's yeah. scary sounding mm -hmm. in a way. Like it yeah. just sounds like. You know, I, I don't know, when I hear that music in, in all the other movies, it's mm -hmm. always like, mm -hmm. it makes you feel like nervous. It's a, it's an, mm -hmm. it, it's an anxious yeah. song uh, that brings in the mood of like, Godzilla's gonna destroy stuff, or there's gonna be a huge fight and people yeah. are going to be hurt. The music was definitely the highlight of this film. The, the music and sound mm -hmm. is actually uh, my favorite part of the whole movie. Yeah. The sounds of the monsters are really cool. I love yeah. that when, when Godzilla's powering up, how it was like, doom, 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 mm -hmm. and it like, mm -hmm. It sounded like a tone they, going. They did all that in the previous him. one, but this one they really amped it up. Yeah. Like the sound, like I guess there's a part where he's like intimidating them by making his lights yeah, flash, and that yeah. sounded really. That cool. was like, a boom, really cool boom, part. Boom, boom. Um, the the tone machine yeah. that they used to yeah. the, to talk to the monsters, yeah, the, the orca the was, the movie, was yeah. neat. Um, yeah, and just to fully express this, like I am more than thrilled about hearing the Godzilla theme <laughs> in this, and also the Blue Oyster Cult song, oh, yeah, uh, which end. is an awesome rendition. Mm -hmm. um, and you've seen, uh, if you've seen like uh, what uh, Bears posted, uh, like he had Surge from System of a Down do the vocals on it. Oh, and it is okay, just amazing. Um, I love the uh, the vocals that are in the songs. Like they have, um, in in. in in the themes, yeah, uh, they have like these like chants, yeah. like these uh, vocals in the back, and it just sounds like really like it, it reminded me of Skyrim, and... uh, okay, with the Fus Roda song with the the Dragonborn yeah. uh, theme, yeah, okay. it kind of reminded it, yeah. me of that. Yeah, if you played Skyrim, it's mm. it sounds uh, like that. Yeah, so not say... not just because he's my friend, but Bear, his work in this movie, I think, is yeah. excellent. The uh, mm. the remake of the Godzilla song by Blue mm. Oyster Gold. I really appreciate that, mm -hmm. especially since I had to hear remakes of the songs from Aladdin over the weekend, and okay. they were terrible. It was nice to hear a remake of a song that was actually good. It was a nice change. Yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't want to rip my freaking ears out of my head. Godzilla was my so, go-to song in Guitar Hero 1. 
So I have I have a list in front of me here. Yeah. So the next complaint about Godzilla 2014, <laughs> which we want to see if if it was addressed in this or not, was that uh, the plot needs to revolve around Godzilla and not his monster opponents. Because in the the first one, 2014, mm -hmm, it yeah. was all about the Muto for like the first like hour or so, and yeah. then Godzilla just appears. It, it's it's really the the plot revolves so much around the Mutos. Yeah. This one. Uh, would you say that's been corrected? I think so a little mm -hmm. bit. Like, he's there a lot earlier. They're working, yeah. even if he's not there, they're working with him. Like, they're trying to help mm -hmm. him. It's all about, like, him taking care of, like, these new monsters that have mm -hmm. come up. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, there's there's more monsters in this yeah. one, too, so they have to talk about all of them. Yeah. Uh, I would say, yeah, the plot does revolve more around I Godzilla. I think this the one difference in this one, the last one was at least they were familiar monsters, because yeah. the Mudo I didn't give a shit about. Yeah. But this is Ghidra, mm -hmm. uh, Mothra, yeah. Rodan. Rodan. It's yeah. cool seeing, even though there were some weird ones like that, there was there's like a woolly mammoth. Yeah, yeah. Monster, oh, yeah. The spike, I'm which all, I like. I actually like that one. Yeah, I'm yeah. all for original monsters, but mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think the Mutos were very original. Uh, Ghidorah, who, who they call, it was cool they brought back the Monster Zero mm -hmm. name, Yeah. but they they call him Monster Zero for half the movie, and then they switched to calling him Ghidra. I thought that was a little weird, but anyway, he looked great. I yeah. thought the face of Ghidra was probably yeah. the most badass looking he's ever been. First off, he moves and acts the way I've always wanted him to. Yeah, um, yeah. I like that each head had its own personality. Mm -hmm. Like, the middle head seemed to not like the left head a lot. Like, it was constantly growling oh, at yeah. it. I like that little okay. detail in the movie. Even though the look wasn't totally original, it looked like Smaug, uh, <laughs> just with three heads. Yeah. yeah. But but still really cool looking. He was definitely way d more dragony than, if, like, the original was very angular. Like, the horns mm -hmm. were pointing, like, almost, like, straight back and mm -hmm. stuff. This one was more, like, uh, like a dragon. Like, he looked dragony. Yeah. Rodan looked cool. Yeah. He Mothra looked cool. Yeah, Mothra, I think, was the coolest looking, actually. Mothra, the yeah. way that, that she lit up, and yeah. uh, she was way, like, I like the, uh, like, the pincers, and, like, like she had these, like, uh, almost, like, praying mantis kind of, I wasn't like, feeling the pincers in her too arms. much. Mm. I, I thought it was kind of cool, because it's, like, they always make her kind of just, like, a bug with little legs <laughs> and, and wings, and that's about it, but, mm -hmm. you know, the, in this, in it, that works for, for the, old, the older ones, but in this one, she has to be something that has a way to defend herself mm -hmm. other than just wings. Yeah. Because, you know, the, the, the wings get, they always get damaged. Yeah. And it, you know, so it's like her being able to, like, she had, like, barbs and, like, you know, mm -hmm. had these sights. Like, they, she looked pretty cool, I gotta say. Uh, a little bit too, like, um, illuminated, though. Like, just, like, constantly glowing. Yeah, the, uh, and, like, I feel like yeah, yeah, I feel like they could cool it with the effects a little bit. And just, like, it's just enough to see a moth just flapping its wings <laughs> and windstorms coming yeah. up. And, like, yeah. I didn't get any sense of, like, the weight or like the the power of the wings, like when it's like, whoosh, yeah. whoosh, whoosh, like it, you didn't really get that. It, yeah. just, it was just this like magical like. Uh, mm. I think synthetic. Rodan had that. Rodan, Rodan definitely had, like, had he like the wakes out that village, yeah, which was like in the it. old original Japanese mm -hmm. Rodan, where you know Rodan's flying and just like just decimates Ares yeah. just from the wings. Yeah, which was pretty cool seeing that again. Mm. So, so another complaint about the 2014 one was Godzilla doesn't appear till about an hour in. In this one, he appears earlier than that. I yeah. would say probably. I mean, aside from the flashback, mm -hmm. probably like 30 minutes, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah, like so, ready to kick ass. Yeah, he's like yeah. good to go. He's, he's like good to go this. when he comes in. Yeah. I will say that the story got going pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It didn't yeah. have a long um, build yeah. up. Because I guess now they've, they've established Godzilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've established, okay, there's monsters in this world. Uh, so they're they're existing now. It's kind of like there's this five year lull mm -hmm. that they're you know everybody's wondering what's going on with Godzilla. But they you know and they go a little bit more into Monarch, yeah. explain it. It's basically Shield. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's it's Godzilla's Shield. Yeah. So next thing I wanted improved was uh, more things getting destroyed on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think this one dropped the ball again because. Um, I think the Godzilla movies aren't just about the monsters, they're about the destruction. Like mm -hmm. about seeing um, buildings and you know human-made structures just being destroyed. Yeah. And seeing things that look familiar, uh, when you see it with the monster behind it, it makes you think in your head like, like wow, imagine if that really happened. Mm. Um, just, just even looking up at a monster through something ordinary like uh, telephone lines mm -hmm. and just seeing the monster coming behind it, it mm -hmm. like that kind of makes it um uh 
in your mind where you start to just imagine if this was a real situation and you don't see any of that really. I mean, maybe very little, but when Rodan comes out of Volcano, you see people running, mm -hmm. like there, there's some of that in there, but for the most part, it's just the monster's kind of isolated in these barren, yeah. you know, dark Waste rainy, lands of like, just, yeah. 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 The or, thing is, Rodan, or if they mm -hmm. are in the city, they, there's a giant storm yeah. happening that's covering it all Rodan up. was the only one that you actually see the way, you know, Rodan flies, mm -hmm. buildings to get destroyed. Yeah. Everyone else was, buildings are already destroyed. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was a major complaint of mine, is that not enough structures get destroyed. Not mm -hmm. enough destruction. So next thing that I wanted to see improved was less focus on soldiers running around and diving from planes. I think we got that improved this we, time. We got, instead of soldiers this time, we got scientists, I guess, oh, and a yeah. couple of soldiers. I mean, it wasn't, like, yeah, this is one I kind of would need to see again, but I feel like we didn't get a lot of those, like, boring passages where, like, okay, you have the soldier, in the 2014 one, you have the soldiers yeah. on that bridge, that dark, yeah. dark oh, scene yeah. on that bridge that just goes on and on. Um, I, I will say this, like, uh, I had the same problem with Kong Skull Island and even, like, the 98 gods are like, why do these movies need so many characters? Like, mm -hmm. I like that the characters in this were a little bit more animated, like mm -hmm. Kong Skull Island, but there were just so many of them. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Like, Miles Dyson from Terminator 2 shows up for, for like, like one second. minute. That's the thing, yeah. too. They touch on certain characters and then never speak of them yeah, again. and there's just so many. And, like, I only really like Ken Watanabe and the girl from, uh... What's the movie that won the Oscar? The fish movie. Um, <laughs> Shape, oh, of Water. Shape, Shape of Water was awesome. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. she was in 2014, and they brought mm -hmm. her back, and then yeah, she's great. She's not in it very long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she's yeah, exactly. So she was yeah. one of the the best characters from the, the first one. Uh, yeah. killed. Um, I mean, not if you get into that, like Brian Cranston. I mean, there's, yeah, they yeah. killed him off so early. He was like incredible. Yeah, and now of course he's not in this one at all. Yeah, yeah, any, yeah. any hope that they might resurrect him, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yeah. but um. Uh, but, but you brought it to another item on my list, so I guess we'll just go to that as uh, yeah. better human characters. Um, I would say a little bit, yeah. A few of them were good. Yeah. I would say I, for the most part, the human characters were better. I'd say I, I didn't mind maybe three characters out mm -hmm. of the no. several that were in the movie. The other ones made me want to die. <laughs> Especially the scientist guy. Oh, uh, the white-haired um, scientist. White He's not a bad actor, guy. but in this movie was No, he awful. was just, every line was so annoying. Like, he just, uh, yeah. every, always had to have yeah, some awful one-liner. And yeah. the, the, the it's part like the, where oh they, my God, yeah, Zilla. Zilla. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the it was oh. painful. Yeah. And, and the, every line out of his mouth. I, I will say this. The 2014, they build up that the main character can mm -hmm. defuse bombs. That's his whole purpose. Mm -hmm. And that he never fucking does it in the oh, movie. Okay. This one, they established the dad is like, he, he uh, studies animals and pack yeah. running behavior. And it actually comes into the plot. Like, he's mm -hmm. like, oh, I know what these monsters are doing. I'm like, oh, good. The thing they established him being an expert of actually paid off. Unlike 2014, where he's like, I can disarm bombs. Not this one. Yeah. Whatever. Molly Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. Uh, what'd you think of her? I think she's a good actress. Yeah. Um, oh, for, definitely. She's like, she, to be honest, she was she's the most good believable things, character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, I, I, I didn't mind her. Like, yeah. I thought she was good. For me, it feels like yeah, what yeah, they, they did didn't, with, Well, they didn't give her much to do. Like, no. all she really it's, did It's kind of like Brian Cranston. Mm -hmm. They knew he was popular from a TV show, mm -hmm. so they threw him in there. And mm -hmm. then it's like, ah, he's just kind of there. All and right. the thing is, every time she does something, it shows her doing that for maybe five minutes. Yeah. Then it go, it cuts back to everyone else, yeah. and then it cuts to her in some sort of predicament that they have to get mm -hmm. her out of. It just felt Man, like I forgot she was in the movie. Sometimes yeah. I forgot the bad mm -hmm. guy from Last Action Hero was yeah, in the Mr. movie. Yeah, Mr. Benedict. Mm -hmm. I kept forgetting. I'm it. like, oh right, there's a bad guy. In yeah, the there's like a human villain in this movie, yeah. and it's. I guess like, that I guess that is an improvement because I I remember all the monster stuff a little more than <laughs> yeah. the human stuff. Yeah, um, <laughs> there was yes a lot of human characters. Yeah, and. Uh, I feel like there was way too much exposition in this movie. Mm -hmm. Every scene with the human characters is just explaining plot yeah. to you. And it's them yeah. sitting in a table yeah. or at a computer. Or in a surveillance room. Yeah, and, and they're like, talking you're, about... And you're mm -hmm. looking at a map of where the monsters mm -hmm. are rather than seeing yeah. the monsters. I mean, There's always like a screen and it's like showing you a montage. And some of that's cool, mm -hmm. but after a while I'm just like, oh my god, I'm being fed with so much I, information. Yeah. I feel like that's you know, stuff just, that happened in older Godzilla movies, but that's mm -hmm. because they had to pad out the time and they yeah, didn't this, have enough money for yeah. the effects. But and this, this isn't an older Godzilla. This is no, like, this do, is a new do what this one should do, you know. 
Kong Skull Island, even though I have some issues with that movie. Mm-hmm. That one flew. But the I, exposition I was real like, fast. Yeah. I don't think any other Godzilla movies were like, how long was this movie? Because it know. felt like it was like two this, hours or something. Yeah, or it was over. over. I mean, including credits, it was over two hours. Yeah, it was like yeah. two hours, 10, 12 minutes. The thing is. Um, which the 2014 was pretty long yeah. like that, yeah. too. Yeah. So the next item on my list, and my biggest complaint that this did not rectify the the first movie the only time you see the monsters fight they're in the dark yeah. in the rain i'm so sick of seeing that yeah then this one the trailer came out and once again it was all at night in the rain in like thunderstorms and they, i was like okay let me just wait to see the movie and sure enough the only time the monsters fight is in the dark mm-hmm. In the rain or in water, um, it's, submerged it's like in either, water. Yeah, it's in an, like they're in an ocean or like. The, I mean, the first time you see Godzilla fight Ghidorah, it's in the Antarctic in like a snowstorm, and, and it's pitch black. Night. Yeah, I am so tired of seeing that. One thing they did improve, they at least colored it a little. Mm-hmm. They put like a blue tint so you could at least kind of see it. Yeah, you know what? Like 2014, yeah. where it was just black. Yeah, they did yeah. improve the visibility. Like in, in 2014, there are parts where you can't even watch it. It's so dark, you yeah. can't tell what's mm. happening. Unless you watch the 3D version, it's a little bit brighter. Yeah. Um, but um, so this one, I didn't have any visibility issues. I could still see what you were meant to see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they always do that, you know, that, that that Pacific Rim thing where there's always highlights that glow. Yeah. Like, um, there's always a part of the monster that's lighting up. I think um, that helped a little bit. Yeah. yeah well, I know which monster's which. Is there... A, I'm trying to figure out what the reason for this is. And, and one suspicion or one um, thing I, I suspect about this is that possibly it's sort of like in a horror film, especially one that would take place in a haunted house or something, it's always got to be night because mm-hmm. it, it's like, well, it wouldn't be scary if it was in the yeah. day. There's, you know, they want to have the lightning to make it more dramatic Mm -hmm. and, you know, only like things like that. They might have it in their head that that can only happen at night. And and that's not really what I think is is a Godzilla film. I think that um, a Godzilla film should happen in the day. You should be able to see what's going on. That's fine if you want to do some at night. But why are they all at night? We could go to other modern movies to show like Jurassic World had a fight at night. I saw Mm -hmm. everything. You could see everything that happened there. Uh, Pacific Rim, they fight in the city with, like, full of light, mm-hmm. so you can see what happens at night. There's just, uh, the friggin' Avengers has, yeah. like, giant mm-hmm. monsters and stuff. The well, I could still in, see, in, um, like, I, yeah. I, I could still see what happened in this film, but I just, I'm tired of seeing the rain, because it's yeah. like, it bums you out. It's it, like, the whole movie's it's gray. like, uh, yeah. it's like in real life, when it's, <laughs> yeah. when it's raining all the time, and you go through, like, a week, and it's just nothing but rain, 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 it's and like you're this just week. waiting... <laughs> yeah, and you're just waiting. You're waiting, like, when is the sun going to shine again? It's the same feeling I have mm. with these movies. When are we going to see the light? <laughs> when can these movies just have I a mean, fucking look, fight know, scene in the goddamn day? Why is that so hard? K- Kong Skull Island had an awesome fight at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. Kong yeah. Skull Island does not feel like it fits into these no. movies. I mean, I know it takes place in the 70s, yeah. but it looks like a completely different film. It, yeah. it, it's... It's bright. You can see what's happening. It's fun. It it's was like, a fun movie. And, 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 and thought, this was fun, too. I had fun with this yeah. one, but not as much fun as Skull Island. No, I Even agree. though Skull Island was sillier, like, but... But these movies are... They're giant monsters mm-hmm. fighting. They're silly. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. supposed to be kind of silly. And this movie... That's to a one certain of my degree. Yeah. To a certain degree, yeah. yeah. But this movie was... It was so dead serious. And then you have this dumbass character that, yeah. that makes mm-hmm. stupid lines that just takes away from that it just made it certain parts where mm. i it just it's trying to be so cool yeah. and so like scientific and like you know this is what would happen if godzilla was really doing this yeah. it's like okay but godzilla isn't really doing this yeah. May, show me a fan a fantasy world i want to have fun in this movie and i just uh i didn't hate this movie that's not what you said yeah. coming out of the theater. I'm trying to be like nicer about it. I don't like to. I don't like to. Like I usually, I am really hard to disappoint in the theater. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I was a little bit disappointed by this one. And I know, like, it's it. I'm gonna have to watch it again. People to be are honest. gonna like, like this movie a lot. But there, there's yeah. one scene in the movie 
Is it spoiler is, or no? N- not really. I guess it's Godzilla's fighting Mecha Godzilla. They're in a city. They're fighting each other. I mean, Godzilla's fighting Ghidra. <laughs> oh, I was, just, I was about to say, yeah, like, no, I'm right? sorry. Well, that's I, a spoiler. I went in the bathroom for a second. No, that never Godzilla happened. Show up. <laughs> so Godzilla's fighting Ghidra. Yeah. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, you see them fighting. And then all the planes fly in and stuff. And it's this really cool shot. And then all of a sudden, that big ass plane that they fly in yeah. just takes up the whole oh, screen. Oh, yeah. And, uh. and covers the fight. And that's how the entire movie felt to me. Yeah. It's you want to see them. Them fighting this entire fight, but all you keep seeing is they hit each other, cut to the dude, hit mm-hmm. each other again, cut to the airplane people yelling about shit, yeah. hit each other again, cut to whatever else mm-hmm. character. Like you never see a full fight in Godzilla, mm-hmm. any Godzilla movie. When Let they me, fight, you, know, you see them fight until the end of it. You don't they don't cut 50 times between people yeah. all the time. You know, like let me tell you, like this one, I think it had more monster fighting than, than 2014, but it, yeah. it still wasn't that much because I, I didn't listen to any hype with this movie. I just wanted to just kind of like forget mm-hmm. about it till I see it. So I didn't hype myself up at all. Yeah. But um, I heard, you know, from numerous sources, like online was out. It seemed like people were saying this one's going to be all monsters fighting. That's all it's going to be. Yeah. And that is not the case at all. I mean, um, you it, do need it's like some... a decent amount, but yeah. it's not like. You need some human stuff mm-hmm. to break up the action and pacing, but yeah, yeah they just went too far this into it. Felt like it. I mean, this felt like the movie was just about the people and about these like scientists and government mm-hmm. agencies and all these things with monsters fighting in the background mm-hmm. is what it felt like to me. Yeah. I was a little bit disappointed by it. Uh, I didn't really know how to feel. I'm more excited for later movies, and mm-hmm. this is definitely a step in the right direction. Well, for this Godzilla is, versus Kong, have them fight in the day, please. Yeah, please. I, want, I want to start some kind of petition for that. <laughs> yeah. How do I do that? How do I go about doing? They got to go to Skull Island. Or if they're in <laughs> they a city, go back. if they're in a city, have the lights you on just, in the building yeah. so we can see them. Why, why even have it at night? Like yeah. monsters could happen in the day. We'll see. So they're not even real. Like now, I mean, you <laughs> can make it happen anytime you want. Also, to go back, make to, it sunset, sunrise. Have them like in the the golden an hour, but, but, you know. By the way, in 2014, when you do see Godzilla in the day, he looks fine. Yeah. So it's not even like they're trying to cover up the effects. It looks okay. Just do it in the day. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, I don't. I don't think it's any. I mean, I don't know. It, is it any easier to to make to, to to animate it during the the night? Because I I don't think so. When, I, I when think, it's darker, then you got to make you got to make all the rain. The rain droplets got to hit the monsters. I don't know. Wouldn't that be more difficult? I'm I'm really not sure. Lighting is probably a little bit easier. You can hide a few things. Mm-hmm. You don't. Yeah, have to but like, I mean, you know. it's all CGI anyway. Might as well just mm-hmm. go for it. The the one thing I'll say to to go back to what you were saying earlier about like the no, there wasn't as n- enough destruction. Mm-hmm. And this is a mild spoiler, mm-hmm. but there's a scene where um, they're fighting in Boston, and Boston hasn't been touched yet. Mm-hmm. It's been mm-hmm. it's it's completely fine. Ghidra comes in, lands. All of Boston's destroyed within one or two minutes yeah. of that landing, and mm-hmm. you don't see it happen. It mm-hmm. just is done because the whole thing is Ghidra has a giant storm yeah. around him at all times hey, that he this can is, just make. This is what a Godzilla movie is. Here's a building. Yeah. Here's the monster walking up to the building. Yeah. Boom. Watch the building crumble. You, slow. Uh, wow, look you, at the destruction. Look at the people run. Oh, my God. Imagine this. The, uh, there was they none of they that. were fighting was, in empty cities the entire time. There's fighting in thunderstorms, yeah. just like rain, just like empty the, cities, the ocean. Like it's uh, a completely synthetic environment else, yeah. of just mm-hmm. like CG storm. And yeah, just, I just the the thing is, you see one building I think gets smashed with it, during the fight. It's when Godzilla smashes. I was going to mention through. that. Yeah, I, I that actually was really like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Like, when he like yeah. stuck in there. And yeah, when he like, smashes yeah, yeah. him through it. And uh-huh. they it's come out cool. the other like, side. Yeah. But so comes there is out. a little of that, yeah. but it's not... M- Mothra like glues the two heads. The one head's trying to free yeah, And then he like tackles him. Yeah. Like, more of that, please. And, exactly. And you know what? I, I hate to do this because every time when, when a newer movie comes out and then I compare it to a movie that I complained about but yeah. find something in the movie I complained about that I like better about the one, Gareth Edwards, at least in the 2014 one, he at least... Uh, knew how to shoot the monsters, like to look at them only from perspectives that people I did could like see. That. Yeah, yeah. This one, it it doesn't seem like there was as much of that. Mm-hmm. There there yeah. was some, but a lot of times it was just we're looking at the monsters from it, like point yeah. of, point of views that we would never see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gareth Edwards is good with effects. He's not good with actors, but he's really good with effects. Oh, there were some great shots, some great shot choices in the 2014 yeah. one. Um, Overall, I like this one better. Yeah, um, I think. Oh, like a, no, I like yeah. this better than mm-hmm. the 2014 one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the 2014 one 
was this one wasn't boring i'll say yeah for not sure. not as good as 2016's Shin Godzilla, though. Yeah. Uh, still, I, I mean, actually, yeah, I these actually are pretty like Shin close. Godzilla but Shin Godzilla is okay. I liked Shin, it. Shin Godzilla was very talky, but there was yeah. this middle section. If you, if you would just skip to the, the the best part of Shin Godzilla, I would just go to the middle of that movie. There's probably mm -hmm. like a 20 minutes or so in the middle of the movie where Godzilla is doing most of his rampage. Yeah. And that it, it's it's done exactly how you want it done. Yeah. My problem you with know? Shin Godzilla is that there's people like our good friend Justin. Who pretend it's the best Godzilla because the guy who made it did a cartoon called Evangeline. Mm. So because he likes that cartoon, he pretends Shin Godzilla is the best. He hasn't even seen most of the movies, but like, Shin Godzilla is amazing. Like you've probably seen maybe three Godzilla films. <laughs> I like that movie, but it's like it's it's not the greatest thing ever. No, the greatest. Well, there's one no is, uh, there's no perfect Godzilla yeah. movie. It's really except like, for, well, I mean, except GMK for, is pretty close. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a contender and, for and it. And Mecha Godzilla with that one is really Caesar good. and yeah. the, yeah. the Caesar five minute good. song. <laughs> my favorite part of any movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we got all our opinions out on this one. Yeah. Let's just talk about spoilers if you have any that you um, want to um, just itching to to discuss. Uh, I like that Ghidorah can regenerate because that they can bring him back because they kill him in yeah. this movie, but they have a way to bring him back. And they tie him in with like old myths, like the, with the Greek myths of the Hydra, how he regenerates oh, heads and stuff. And yeah. he's an alien. They, they do like, mention, yeah, which is cool. There's a cool um, part where, like, first off, the mom is a bad guy, but the trailer spoils that. So when you see it in the movie, you don't care. Because mm, yeah. like, oh, I saw it in the trailer. But I like that she has this plan to wake up the Titans. It's They've been doing it. There's yeah. so many different plans yeah. in this The thing film, is, they're supposed like, to bring balance to the world, but, but they since fuck Hydra up. is not of this world, he's, he's an alien. just here to destroy the world. They're like, basically. oh shit, it backfired. Yeah. Um, which was cool, and and Ghidra is like probably the baddest of the of the monsters. Yeah. Like he is definitely the mm -hmm. most intimidating. Yeah. He's always the one that that Godzilla always has the biggest problem with. Mm -hmm. Really, I just don't like that he was surrounded in a hurricane the entire movie. Yeah, yeah, the whole movie. Anywhere he went, it was just a. Like thunderstorm. I yeah. think he has lightning powers, but there were some cool parts in a fucking in hurricane. <laughs> there were some cool parts when they're flying in and the lightning oh. strikes, and you see the silhouette light up for a second. Yeah, really oh, there's cool some great shots. But like, if when they he, when didn't do that the whole time, yeah, yeah, when they had that cross in the foreground, he's like he's spreading his wings. Oh like, yeah, yeah, that was like yeah. yeah. But um, like okay, Mothra and Rodan. Um, you don't see much of them until the very end. You don't see a yeah. lot of Mothra. Rodina has the best scene in the movie because mm. his scene is during the day when he's taking out the jets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he flies into the hurricane. That was actually around. probably one of the better scenes in the most tense. Yeah. When they're flying away and then they have to get the VTOL to like come up and he, yeah. you know, they, they the, the doors won't work. Um, what you call I like uh, when Mothra dies. She like turns into dust and helps revive Godzilla, mm -hmm. kind of like she Which did. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, did she ever I do it to Godzilla? I know in GMK um, she does it for Ghidorah to bring him. I don't back. know if she's ever done it to Godzilla before. I'm, I she's definitely remember. done it though. She's done it a lot. Yeah, so um, I thought that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they do the meltdown Godzilla from yeah. Destroya. That was cool. I noticed that reference. I mean, yeah. if they were consciously, if that was the idea, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's the that was really cool looking. I like how when it when mm -hmm. it shows his feet stepping and things mm -hmm. are just melting. Yeah, yeah. That was before really he even cool. gets there, yeah. they're melting. Yeah. Although at that point, even though it looked so cool and he looked so mean at that point, yeah. it was still like there is so much CG. Like you're just looking at a completely. Mm, yeah. Computer generated image. I guess just, the thing that that's it's, and I know some people will be like, oh, or do the rubber suits look any more like um, you know convincing? I'm like, I don't know if it's really about convincing. I think no. it's about aesthetics. Yeah, like no. I'm just tired of looking at something that looks like a video game. Yeah, and that's the thing is like the only. So far, there has not been an American-made Godzilla that really got that part right, mm -hmm. where it looks tangible, mm -hmm. looks like how you want it. And I've always said, it's not really a real Godzilla movie unless it's made in Japan, mm -hmm. like Champagne. It can't be Champagne unless it's from Champagne, France. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So maybe this one could be good sparkling wine at best, but it would <laughs> yeah. never be Champagne. I love the Atlantis stuff. I thought oh, that yeah. was really cool. Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if it was supposed to be. Atlantis, I mean, it's but, it's like implied, it's an underground guess, ancient yeah. city. Yeah. Uh, but it was that, that was actually a cool set. I like that. That's where mm -hmm. Godzilla goes to like recharge, yeah. and then they blow it up. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I thought about they that. Like, they killed. They killed the only likable <laughs> human character, yeah. and they blow they, it. Up. Well, not they, to mention, well, they do it to revive Godzilla, and, and that brings me to another spoiler, which I guess is a spoiler. It's yeah. Like 
they kill Godzilla early in the movie, only yeah. to bring him back again. Yeah. Um, they use the oxygen destroyer, which is it's just a giant missile. Which it doesn't it's, even kill him. It just which like is, fucking weakens him. Yeah. I mean that that is. They killed a lot of fish. Yeah. yeah I, I mean it's a reference to the first weapon, yeah. but yeah. It's, it's done very quickly. It's not really like well, it is too is a nuke with a when, green yeah. fire. In that movie, yeah. it had a pull. like. I think the first Godzilla movie is the best mm. one still. It's great. It actually yeah. had a message. Most people will agree with yeah because yeah. it has a message and a point, and then the series turned into dumb mm. monster fights, which I also like. Mm -hmm. But the Oxygen Destroyer was like, you know, like, Sarazawa made it as a weapon, he knew humans. Mm -hmm. He had to struggle with this, I made this great yeah. weapon that could save us, but there's all these negatives. Mm -hmm. And this one, they're like, remember this from the first movie? Mm -hmm. We're gonna shoot it at the oh, water. Oh yeah, and they're, yeah. they're not even, we're gonna shoot it. They're like, oh yeah, we already did yeah, shoot it. We already shot like, it. Get the hell out uh, of there. Yeah, so I was struggling when I was going through my bullet points of like, yeah. uh, okay, Godzilla he appears more in this one. Mm. I was hesitant to talk about this where, well, while he does appear more in it, maybe he um, is dead for a lot of the movie too. <laughs> it's hard so to that's see. that's yeah. pretty. Um, Th that, that's that's pretty extreme. Yeah. His scales like, appear yeah. a lot. Uh, his eyeball, Wait, um, you know. Like, by the way, um, when they said they wanted to use the nuke to restore him, I thought it was gonna be like 2014, where the mutos were like feeding off the nuke. Mm -hmm. I didn't think they were gonna blow it up in his fucking face. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I know he yeah. could survive a nuke, uh -huh. but I thought they were gonna feed it to him. Not like, all right, let's blow it up, and then he yeah. comes out like all juice, like, ugh, he's yeah. like, that was, Wasn't that like his home, too? Like, it's, yeah, yeah, like, it's gone. He, he goes there, yeah. the problem is, he's getting radiation, but it's not fast enough, and they mm. need him to kill Ghidorah, so yeah. like, yeah, let's blow up a nuke in his yeah, face. Yeah. But it's after this, like, real, like, calm, like, nice scene, and it's supposed to be all emotional, and then he just mm. blows up a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> the explosion was pretty cool, though. Yeah. Like, it looked really good. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Atlantis. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure that was a discovery people would have liked to know of, but you know, it's gone. Atlant uh, Aquaman, another movie that had a giant monster in the dark, but you could actually see it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's one. I, I really love that at the end though they had rest in peace, Hiroi Nakajima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was cool. The yeah, that was cool. Godzilla seeing suit that. actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two mm -hmm. of them. Right, there were two people in the. Yeah, crowd. yeah, yeah. I mean, it went by quick. Uh, I just, um, I, I only remember Nakajima, but there was somebody else. I'm sorry, I forget yeah. who it was, but there was another mm. yeah it was honestly just... i don't really like trash in this movie yeah yeah i know it's like um, i want to just say like hey it's godzilla it's awesome um but uh yeah. those are some of the problems mainly like the the fighting is always in some kind of thunderstorm mm. uh you never see gator in any kind of daylight um i feel like too you only see like one head ever up close mm. you see maybe two once Wait, in a while but like you, there you don't was really a cool get scene where godzilla great fires shots. his blast and it separates the head and yeah and they like move back. and like, then that, they shoot yeah more of that there, Come on. there should have just been more fights and i don't know if that's because of the cg is it's it's it's, it's probably rough animating yeah. these characters they they are extremely detailed godzilla is mm -hmm. his face has so much yeah. movement mm -hmm. and just has a look to it it, it looks really good. The movie looks great. A, a lot of it looks amazing. Yeah. It's um like CGI has really come so far to the point where like movies look great now. They don't um, look like you know. Did you guys see any of the, like the advertising for this movie? No, not really. There was a really the trailer. There was a really cool uh, thing. The um that big building, the uh, the Mia Khalifa building. They did this really cool thing where they like hot, they project it like the the tallest building in the world. They project it like Godzilla and Rodan onto it on these screens, and it was insane. Oh yeah, yeah, it was like really really cool. Uh, it's a must see. Go and see it. Mm -hmm. um, but there's other movies too out like that you could see too, and you might have more mm. fun at the theater. But we don't see Rampage. Like, uh, you can yeah. see what happens in Rampage. I don't want to. I really don't want to be like that about <laughs> well, this. I mean, I'm trying. You know, like I don't often come in here and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, feel yeah. like this it's about okay, it. Not like a no, movie yeah. once in a while. No, it's not okay, always, Tony. Um, <laughs> we're always seeing uh, like most not for of what me. we see are like yeah, like big franchise films. I feel like I'm always excited about whatever we're watching. Usually, and this is the first time that I'm like, well, Detective Pikachu. I was a little bit, but like I liked it, but. This, I feel like the same about Look, this. Look, I will one. say I this. Say the same. This is not a movie I'm going to put on my Godzilla shelf at work that I'm very proud of. Kong vs. Godzilla is long past due. I mean, they ha they, yeah. there's one movie, and it's mm -hmm. a great cult classic. It's it's really funny. The original Kong vs. Godzilla. Mm -hmm. The Kong suit is so bad. Yeah, it's, oh, it's great. Um, but <laughs> the thing is, um, 
it, it deserves a modern, you know, interpretation. We, we, you know, it's it's been so long. Let's see Godzilla and Kong fight again. Mm. The only thing, please have them fight in the day. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Well, they um they postponed the Sonic movie, so Ugh. I was actually looking forward to getting that one over with. But yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, yeah. you talking about Godzilla? Yeah. You mind if I join in? Oh, all right, Karen. I actually got the Godzilla comic book where he plays Charles Barkley in basketball. You can check that out. Oh, I remember the commercial. Oh, and you remember the soundtrack with Puff Daddy? And you can actually use that CD in Monster Rancher and it gives you a cute new monster, kind of like a little Zilla of your own. Oh, and do you remember the Taco Bell commercials? Lizard, lizard, lizard. Godzilla's hiding and it's up to you to find him. Uh, they also did Doritos, and they had that awesome Edie's ice cream, you know, with the cute-ass Godzillas in it. You know, like the like the little cookie Godzillas. Yeah, you remember that, Tony? J Shin Godzilla is my favorite Godzilla, but I've only seen like three Godzilla films. <laughs>